All right, Black History Month is coming to a close, but we're still highlighting the exceptional leaders here in our community. Dr. Brian Coleman, president of a trailblazing medical group. He's also passionate about mentorship. I know something that's very close to your heart. So let's talk about all your accomplishments and how you're helping the community first. Tell us about the T. Leroy Jefferson Medical Society and its purpose. Well, our organization is a nonprofit that's comprised of 120 plus healthcare professionals that are primarily African American. And our major mission is providing quality health care in underserved areas. Okay, and look, we have the honor of having you here, a true trailblazer. I want to make sure I get this right. You're credited with being the first African American orthopedic surgeon to do a total ankle replacement in the United States. So talk about that and being one of five black orthopedic surgeons in Palm Beach County. Talk about your work and inspire other people out there. Well, it really didn't resonate at the time, but in 1998, uh, I performed a total ankle replacement and total ankle replacements traditionally failed miserably, but in the 90s, they made a comeback. And I didn't really appreciate the significance of that at the time because mm -hmm. you don't really understand where it is presently. But when I look back on it, Having performed that procedure well over 300 plus times, being the first African American, and the fact that at the time I did this foot, foot and ankle fellowship and started practicing, I was number five mm -hmm. overall, and there's still only about 50 or 55 presently in the country of orthopedic foot and ankle wow. specialists that are African American. Okay. So reflecting it is quite an accomplishment. I am very proud of that. As you should be. And with that, with your accomplishments, I know a lot of times we want to help the future generation. We need doctors, especially doctors of color. So talk about how you are inspiring mentorship opportunities for young people out there. Well, mentoring is in my DNA. And uh, quite frankly, uh, when I was in 100 Black Men of America way back when, what the, the motto was what they see is what they'll be. Mm -hmm. And I truly believe that in my heart. God put me on this earth to pay it forward. The lack of African American penetrance in the healthcare profession is quite frankly embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Only 6% of all doctors in the United States are black. Mm -hmm. And in terms of my own specialty orthopedics, only 3% are orthopedic surgeons. And I can assume a lot of that has to do with money or even exposure and then when you get that exposure if you want to do it you need an opportunity to go to school so talk about how your foundation is helping with scholarships too well well what we do is try to provide a vehicle not only for them for um, our minority youth to get in the game but actually to complete the journey right. that's through scholarships uh, funding for taking tests preparation travel filling out applications and the like um, it's up to us who have been through this journey to take kids, students that are deserving and bring them to the level where they really want to be. It cannot happen alone. Yeah. Folks like me and my organization need to, and we do, embrace that to try to make it happen. And it's great to see people like you. So parents, you know, if you hear that little nugget of someone just wanting to do medicine, encourage it, right? Foster it, because it's possible. Well, that's, that's exactly the case. I mean, we, we get, you know, our focus is very pulled yeah. in different directions because of what's out there. But, you know, there is a path, there is a journey in medicine on all levels that can be achieved. And it's up to us, parents in the household and uh, community leaders to not only help our youth embrace it, but to be able to execute the journey and close the deal. All right, Dr. Coleman, an honor to have you here. Thank you so much for taking your time to stop by. And if you're listening to this again, a parent or even your student might be interested in medicine, if you want more information, we're going to put that on our website, WPBF.com, for a link right to his foundations.